He represents everything that all Americans want to stand for. He was a winner. He was a leader of men. An officer and a gentleman. Man of honor. Everything I ever wanted to be. Ultimate player, the ultimate person. God, country, flag wrapped into one. True American hero. Number 12 is the quarterback, Roger Stauber. He is Captain America. Captain America, yes. In every sense, he is the real life captain. My name is Amado Martinez, a native of Fort Worth, Texas, where I've grown up as a lifetime Dallas Cowboys fan. Being such a huge follower of America's team, I have seen many great players grace Cowboys field. However, no player will ever be as impactful to the Cowboys franchise as the great Roger Staubach. Being a leader of the most popular team in the United States of America, is one tall order. Staubach immersed himself in that role and never did he ever look back. Today, I will be illustrating why he is the greatest leader in not only Cowboys history, but also all of sports. First, we will start where it all began, the Naval Academy. Staubach has always had a keen sense of leadership, which came to the forefront in his years within, at the Naval Academy. With such great skill as an athlete, many would have taken the opportunity to go to Blue Blood football programs like Notre Dame, Alabama, or Ohio State in the early 60s. Staubach was looking for something more than just football. He was looking for a chance to serve his country while also enjoying the caveat of playing football. He had an insatiable competitive spirit that he instilled into those around him by doing what he does best. Facing adversity with no fear. This is exemplified in this clip from the famed Army-Navy game in front of 100,000 people, one of which was former Naval officer John F. Kennedy, former president. He led his team on the biggest stage to go on for a chance to play for a national championship. However, this is not where I decided that he was the greatest leader in sports history. It was his dedication to service. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become a great among you must be your servant. Matthew 20, verse 26. The Bible is filled with many quotes and stories and examples about life, but this excerpt is one of my favorites. For many young adults, there can be a sense of entitlement or an idea that you must be the leader in everything, which is nearly impossible. Many great lessons are learned when you are serving others. You learn compassion, you learn how to be social, and you also learn your strengths and weaknesses that help you know when it's time to delegate to someone who might be stronger in that area. Roger Staubach earned his stripes by serving his term in the Navy and the Vietnam War. Being colorblind, he could have requested assignment in the United States. Okay, you're going to have to redo that. Of course, I would have considered Staubach the greatest leader in sports history if he didn't have an illustrious playing career. At the Naval Academy, he won the 1963 Heisman. He led the Dallas Cowboys to four Super Bowl appearances, winning Super Bowl VI and Super Bowl XII. Staubach was named Most Valuable Player for Super Bowl VI, becoming the first of four players to win both the Heisman and Super Bowl MVP. He was named to the Pro Bowl six times during his 11-year career. His leadership qualities off the field were complemented by his incredible abilities athletically on the field. In the history of sports, there's never been a greater example of great leadership than Roger Staubach. He sacrificed, he served, he listened, he won. <laughs> 